everyone. Happy Wednesday. Thanks for being with us on our Be Relentless webinar series today. We're excited to have you and this is Tech Technology Week. We started out the week talking about video, and I know that the things that Brendan Ryder said to all of you really resonated because he emailed me afterwards and said, I already see people creating more videos. And then yesterday, Chloe talking to us about Google Meet and Zoom and the best practices. You guys had tons of questions for that. So if you weren't able to tune in for the whole thing, go to the Q&A at the end because we were able to answer a bunch of questions. We're talking about also new technologies today with Eric Sachs from Breakthrough Broker. He joined us last week during our marketing week to talk to us about our marketing action plan for the rest of this year. And he joins us once again to talk about technologies we've never heard of. Eric, it seems like there's a new technology every week. So I'm so glad that you have been here to go through all of these and to tell us which ones are worth our time. Yeah, sounds good. You know, it's funny. we how this whole thing came about, and thanks for having me, by the way. Hey, everybody in Canada. I'm here in Denver, Colorado. Uh, it, 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 this came about because Nathan and I, we owned a brokerage. We had 100 agents, and we also had our own team. And when we were in real estate, when we were selling real estate, before we got um, out to do Breakthrough Broker, we were having, we were going to these events, right? We're going to, if you've ever been to a, like a, a, a an expo, right? Where, or a realtor conference. And at the Realtor Conference, they have these expo booths, right? And they're usually tech companies who are trying to get money from us. And so we're looking around at all these technology companies and we're like, which ones do we use? Which ones are good? And so you can leave an expo or you can buy all this technology. And some of it is just done by people in, in Silicon Valley who want to make money off our industry. And so we set out to find maybe some of what I'm going to talk about are technologies. Some are tricks with other technologies that you may currently be using or heard of but we just wanted to give some ideas and strategies around certain technologies that we found that are low cost or free that will actually help you guys go out and sell some houses does that sound good so i'm going sounds to, like a great idea I'm gonna, Thank share, you. I'm gonna share my screen and um we'll make we'll see if this works everybody stand by one so you guys should see my screen and I'm going to turn off my video because I hate looking at myself while I'm talking. Stop video and I'm here. All right, everybody. So again, this is a little bit fast paced. And so uh, this is being recorded so you can get this later, I'm assuming, right, Lee? And so I'm going to get through a lot of these things. If you have questions, please ask anytime if, uh, if, if you, uh, have comments, let me know, and we're going to get started. Who, and, and I know we can't do question answer live right now, or if you can, who on here is a to-do lister? A lot of us are to-do listers, right? And I was a to-do lister, and I had these those those yellow legal pads. Remember those yellow legal pads? And as a to-do lister, I was, I was, uh, I had a to-do list at home. I had one by my bed. I had one in the car. I had one at the office, right? And so you have all these legal pads and notepads and to-do lists everywhere. So we set out to find uh, a online and online to-do list. And we found one called todoist.com, T-O-D-O-I-S-T, todoist.com. And this is an online to-do list. And there's a couple things I love about todoist.com. One of them is it's online and there's a mobile app. So you have your to-do list with you all the time. You have it next to your bed. You have it, you know, in the bathroom. You have it in the office. And what's so great about to do todoist.com is not just that. I actually love the piece of todoist.com that it, if you guys look right there, there's that little human figure is a share button. And I'm going to tell you a story. When we were selling real estate, I actually prided myself. I don't even know if that's good English, prided myself on helping my clients get through the transaction so smooth that they never knew what happened. They went, we went from contract to close and I wanted them to think it was unbelievably smooth until my very last closing. Before I went into breakthrough broker full time, I thought I was a pretty good realtor. I loved working with buyers and we were sitting at the closing table and in Colorado, closings are pretty interesting. They're joint meaning everyone is at the closing table together. The buyer, the seller, the listing agent, the buyer's agent. 
the mortgage broker, the title person, and all the closing personnel are in one big room. And my buyer was looking at the settlement sheet, and he was looking up at me, and he was looking at the settlement sheet, and I knew something was coming. And he said, man, Eric, I can't believe you made so much money. I found the home on Zillow. And there was like a <gasps> in the room. And it, and it upset me because my client didn't know everything I did. They didn't know about the late nights talking to the inspector. They didn't know about the things that were going wrong in my conversations with the other agent. And so what I decided right then and there is no longer should your clients not know what's going on in the process. If you guys haven't had a client tell you you thought you got paid too much, I promise you they've thought it. All right. So now in this climate, in this environment, we need to show our value more than ever. And so what I love about todoist.com, this share button, you can share your to-do lists with your clients. If, if you have a listing, create a listing to-do list. That's what you're seeing right there for me. 7033 Woodrow Drive, single property website, create the flyers, get the property picks ordered, create the marketing packet, the home book, the pre-listing launch, the Facebook, the Instagram, the broker open house, all of these things they can see. And so what's so nice about sharing your to-do list or a project list with your client, both buyer and seller, is that you're going to show your value and they're not going to think you got paid too much because when they think you got paid too much, it'll severely hurt your referral chances in the future. So todoist.com, T-O-D-O-I-S-T.com. We're going to move on. Have you guys ever, ever at the end of the day, checked your phone? Okay. You check your phone, your cell phone, and there's a message on your cell phone and you're like, wait a second. I didn't miss any calls today. There's this thing called Sly Broadcast or Sly Dial. It's so cool. You can create a voicemail for a group of cellular phone numbers. And when you push send, it sends that voicemail directly to their message box. Okay, so why would you want to do that? Well, your time is money, right? So um, it's so cool. Slide broadcaster, slide dial can really help you scale your time. All right, guys. So here's some pricing for slide dial broadcast and slide dial. And again, I apologize that there's different pricing in Canada for this. Um, but what's so great about slide dial is this. Imagine we had 3,000 people in our sphere of influence, Nathan and I did. And imagine, you know, if you can get to all 3,000 at once, how amazing. So you create a holiday greeting that's just generic enough for it to be custom, meaning, hey, it's Eric. Just wanted to say happy holidays. Hope you're doing fantastic. If you need anything, call me anytime, anytime and let's make sure we connect after the new year. And you just click send and it goes to all 3,000. If you're working with a group of investors, you can always say, hey, I found, you can, you can blast this out to 15 investors and say, hey, it's Eric, I just found a great deal over here on Woodrow Drive. It's headed to auction. Uh, maybe trustee sell tomorrow. Let me know if you have any, anyone interested. And I know auction and trustee might be different where you guys are. But your version of that, what's so great about that is you can dump that voicemail into all those people's voicemail box without talking to them. Now, I know you want to have the relationship, but sometimes there are times when you want to scale your communication, all right? Sly Broadcast or slydial.com. All right, guys, we're going to keep going. Uh, I know you have a great marketing center. I love the Century 21 Marketing Center. And you have some great tools in there. But there are occasions when you want to design something on your own, right? Maybe it's a, a quick uh, Facebook cover photo. Or maybe it's some a cute Instagram story image, but you're not a designer and you don't maybe have access right then and there to a design team and you don't really want to pay that much. So there's this thing called canva.com. Some of you may be raising your hand and smiling and saying, I already use it. Those of you that have not been to canva, C-A-N-V-A.com, it's pretty awesome. You guys, it's very simple. 
It's drag and drop. There's a free version. There's a very low cost paid version. And the whole idea is you can create a, something really nice that makes you, so this is a Facebook cover photo that I created on Canva. Um, and I'm terror. I am not tech savvy, even though I own a tech company, believe it or not. Um, my goal is to find you the perfect home, your local real estate expert. So, uh, Canva, C A N V A dot com. It's very versatile. It'll support your, uh, if, if the Century 21 Marketing Center doesn't have something, something in particular that you really need really quick, this is a great way for you guys to leverage it. Now, also, if you want to create video, so sometimes I want to create a little video, and I am also not very tech savvy. I don't use my iMovie or my whatever. I'm not a, a video producer, but there's this, there's this website called animoto.com, A-N-I-M-O-T-O, animoto.com. You can create some really cool videos by stitching together some photographs or just using what they have in there. It is awesome. And uh, you guys can literally uh, take a few pictures of a new listing, go to animoto.com and create your own listing video. You guys can uh, take a quick video of something else and put words to your video in here and music. Unbelievably easy. Animoto, A-N-I-M-O-T-O.com. Okay, guys? Uh, not very expensive. And again, I'm assuming they have Canadian dollar versions of this, but also animoto.com. Guys, I'm going to talk about Zillow. Now we checked, we checked real quick before we did this class and Zillow in Canada does have a for sale by owner section, but we couldn't see any for sale by owners popping up. But what I am going to do is show you this just in case you guys want to try it. You can actually leverage Zillow to to market to for sale by owners. Now, I don't know how big of a for sale by owner problem um, you guys have there or if it is an issue, but for me, it was a total issue, right? And so, meaning, I, oh, there's your buyers always in like New Jersey or Toronto that's telling them that they don't need to use a realtor, right? Always go find a for sale by owner, it'll cost you less. And so, um, the idea here is that what you can do is create a, your own search for for sale by owners on, on Zillow. And you can actually draw on a map where you want and you can say how many times a day you want them to alert you. And again, I may, this may be a wasted five minutes uh, for you guys here, but I'm sure Zillow will have for sale by owners there at some point. What you do is you tell your buyers, hey, I've got this thing with Zillow, so you don't have to worry about missing for sale by owners. I'm gonna know when, they're, when and where they are, and I'll make sure that I connect you to the for sale by owners. Now, if it works, what you will see is when you do see a for sale by owner on Zillow, you're gonna see the actual owner's information. Now, not all of us, not all of us have the intestinal fortitude to go out and knock on a for sale by owner's door, um, but if you do, awesome, you have their information there, you have their phone number there. Um, if you set up the, the for sale by owner alert on your own Zillow profile, then you're the first one to call that for sale by owner, or you just tell your buyers during your buyer presentation, hey, I got this thing with Zillow, they tell me three times a day all the new for sale by owners. Um, I'm gonna go on from this because I, I don't want you guys, if this doesn't work there, uh, to worry about it. Next thing uh, is this thing called call action. C-A-L-L, callaction.co, callaction.co. It's a predictive texting tool. All right, callaction.co. And you can give them a call. And, it, and basically what it does is it will give you, have you, ever, you guys ever seen um, text info for more information? Text info for more information. So that's what call action does. So if you wanna put that on your, on your on your marketing or on your signs. Um, what it does is it captures that phone number and it texts them back, how can I help you? And so it's that speed to lead type thing. And so callaction.co, and you can get a hold of Jesse over there and tell him you spoke with Eric at Breakthrough Broker and see 
what he can do for you guys, okay? Um, next thing I wanna talk about is something that some of us are sick of, some aren't sick of. There's a lot of talk about social media right now. And right now, during the current pandemic, I believe that you need to be as present in social media as you've ever been. Now, uh, we're gonna talk about, maybe not necessarily, maybe you don't wanna post every day, but I like to talk about active participation in your social media. What the heck is active participation? Basically, that's liking and commenting, right? And one of the things um, that we're not very good at, so, so on the, in the States, NAR, National Association of Realtors, does this thing, and I'm sure it's the exact same type of statistics where you are. Here, they, did this, they do this thing called profile of home buyers and sellers, all right? And the profile of home buyers and sellers is this thing where they, um, where they, where they ask like thousands of people that bought and sold homes what they thought about their realtors. And so the first question is, is did you like your realtor? And 82% of those thousands said yes last year. Okay. And then, and then the next question is, would you use your realtor again? And it was like 86% of that 82% said, absolutely. We'd use our realtor again. And the following question was interesting. It was, did you? And it was appalling. It was like 12% used their past realtor. And I'm assuming, and I know I shouldn't assume, but I'm assuming it's the same numbers up there. So guys, that means we are terrible at keeping in touch with our past clients. We are not good at it. So I'm gonna show you a way I think the best, freest, easiest way to stay in front of your past clients. If you guys aren't using Facebook lists, I'm gonna teach you about it. So in your home screen, you can only do this on your personal page, on your computer, on your desktop. For some reason, you can't set up lists on your phone app. But you go to your home screen, this is your news feed, and on the left side, you're gonna see this thing called friends lists, okay? Why do we need to create a friends list? Well, you guys know, you all know by now, that when you post to Facebook, not everybody sees it that you're friends with. It's the Facebook algorithm. And you guys know that you're not seeing all of your friends, right? I mean, have you guys ever been like, man, I can't believe Stacy never posts on Facebook. And then you go find Stacy and she posts every day and you like and comment on a few things. And the next thing you know, you see her in your newsfeed. That's the algorithm. So one of the things um, that Facebook did was they said, okay, we realize that maybe we're not showing you what you want to see. So we're going to let you create a friends list. So you click on that friends list and it looks like this and it says create a list. So then you create a list on your personal page with all of your past clients. All right. All of your past clients. And now when you click on that list, you're, you're seeing what they're posting. And now I just want you to be a great Facebooker. Like and comment, like and comment, like and comment. When the world finally does open and your clients can go, or, or maybe, they're, maybe they're able to go for a walk in the park right now. And they posted it and you comment, hey, can't believe how great you guys look. The kids grew so much since last time I saw you. Hope everyone's healthy. Can't wait to see you guys soon. And you know what goes through their head? Oh, Eric was such a great realtor. Remember when he left us pizza, beer, and toilet paper when we moved into the house? It was so helpful. So the whole idea is, is that if you like and comment, you stay in front of them by just being a good Facebooker, that's all the past client connections you need to do. They're there. They're on Facebook. They're posting for a reason. And what's also really cool here is when you post to this past clients list, if you're seeing them, you're only posting to this list. It doesn't ensure that they're going to see it. But since you're liking and commenting and engaging more, it's more likely that they're going to see your post. And you're just posting to this list. So if they're past clients and they know you as their trusted realtor, you can post more real estate related content here, like 50-50. You can post 50% personal stuff and 50% about real estate on your personal business, your personal break, Facebook page. I can't even talk today. Here, so like and comment, like and comment, like and comment and post to this group you will stay in front of them more, okay? Guys, I know you have an amazing resource, your Century 21 Marketing Center, but I do want to remind you about breakthroughbroker.com. It's free, breakthroughbroker.com is free. 
So besides your flyers, postcards, and brochures, I want to remind you that we have a lot of other content in here that might piggyback onto what you already have through Century 21. So you can, you can search open house stuff. We have some fun stuff here for open house. Now, I'm not sure when you guys are going to be back doing in-person open houses, but maybe you can have some fun. You can, we have a lot of open house advertising in here that you can switch to virtual open house. But when you do go back, we have fun stuff like pets are here. Furry friends are here. Cat's name is. We have another one. Furry friends are here. Dog's name is. You print this out, write the dog's name in, put it up at the house. So there's some really, really great stuff to piggyback on um, here to help you guys. If you type in Facebook on Break Your Burger, remember it's 100% free. We have memes and GIFs and webinars from some of the brightest minds in the industry. So there's 3,000 pages of interactive content on Breakthrough Broker that help you um, stay in front of uh, your sphere of influence, really help you save time. And one of the things I love the most is our infographic section. So www.breakthroughbroker.com, and you can go to, consume, to um, infographic and video section. Now, for this particular infographic, it's branded for you, so it has your Century 21 logo in here. Okay. And it's secrets for a stress-free home purchase. Okay. Now I know we may have to tweak this a little bit for Canada, but you know, one of the things that you can do with an infographic is leverage it for content in many different places. With this particular infographic, I might put that in my buyer's packet. I might put that on my Instagram and Facebook stories. I might put that on my website and I will definitely put that on my LinkedIn, right? Okay, so um, lots of different ways. Bring it to an open house. When you have your virtual open houses and you get leads from virtual open houses, email them a home buyer roadmap. And again, I, might, I think you guys have a good one in the Century 21 Marketing Center that's better than this and more pertinent. This is a we're selling our home post, all right? And sorry about the brand there. Uh, it should have been your brand. But you just download this and send it to your sphere of influence or you send this i mean to your seller and the idea with the we're selling our home is designed for you guys to promote yourself to your seller's sphere of influence we have some facebook posts on there that say smaller home bigger vacations so for downsizing that's kind of cool we have happy house anniversary posts so just keep an eye on the content from Breakthrough Broker. Some fun stuff, like if any of you guys like Game of Thrones, during Game of Thrones uh, finale week, we created these Game of Homes memes, which were super fun. Some Facebook cover photos for you guys and all of our consumer facing infographics. So make sure that you just check out Breakthrough Broker. We do have a new COVID-19 resource center. This is a Facebook post that says here for you, all right? And you can, even, you can edit the content inside here. This one says, with the onset of this pandemic, we've all been thrown into uncertain circumstances. I want you to know I'm only a call away to help you and your family if the need arises. We have a virtual hug. This is kind of cool. And again, it's your brand. And you, you can text this virtual hug. You can direct message and put it on your Facebook or Instagram stories. Hang in there. Same thing. It's a social post. And this is kind of fun. This is a stay at home activity sheet. So you can post this on your social media and say, for those of you with kids who are going stir crazy, message me for a few fun real estate themed activity sheets. Hope this helps keeps them busy for just a few minutes of your day. So some fun stuff like that on Breakthrough Broker, go peruse it. There's 3000 pieces of content in there. And hopefully you find something that you can piggyback on to the Century 21 Marketing Center and all the content you guys have as a company to, to just really put all that um, to another level as well. Now I'm going to go to a little bit of a uh, soapbox. For those of you not using professional photography, please do. <laughs> it's just a soapbox and you guys can do your own photography, but I suggest you use a professional photographer with HD technology. And this is kind of funny. You guys, you know, when you go to the optometrist and they, I feel like they're playing games with me they're always like, which is, which, which do you see better A or B? A or B, A or B. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they're the same. But here I would like to say, which is better, A or B. That's a photographer 
with HD technology? A or B? A or B? So now that we're talking photography, here is a, here's a resource that I think you guys may already know about, but that I love unequivocally. It's called boxbrownie.com. Boxbrownie.com. If you guys don't know Box Brownie, oh my gosh, it's awesome. They do image enhancement. So for $1, even if you did professional photography, maybe the lighting wasn't great, for $1.60 US, and they, they're all over the world, you just send them this. This is what we got back. All right. They do virtual declutter. This was the garage. This is for $24. They decluttered the garage. This is virtual declutter. And this is virtual staging before and after. All on boxbrownie.com before and after. So there's one important thing you need to do when you use Box Brownie for. On your, on your comments in your MLS, make sure you say some images are digitally enhanced. Okay? That's all you have to do when you, some images are digitally enhanced. Just so that you're telling the other realtor and maybe the consumer that, yeah, I virtually staged this. I wanted to, I'm a salesperson. I wanted you to see what this could look like. Decluttered. Or with better lighting or virtually staged, all right? Boxbrownie.com. Rev.com, I like Rev.com. If you guys are doing videos, awesome. You should all be doing videos. Those of you that aren't doing Facebook Lives or Instagram Live or Facebook Stories or stuff like that, um, I'd like to ask you why. And typically, I know you just did a video class, and typically people say, I don't like how I look and sound. So I hope the person who taught you the video class Reminded you guys, that's how you look and sound. So do it. I hate the way I look and sound too, um, but this is being recorded. But one of the things, if you are doing video or you get into video, one of the, the statistics really show that a lot of people watch the videos without the sound on. I do. And so there's some great ways to, for um, captioning. Now, Facebook has a free captioning piece to what they do, and um, it works pretty good. But it's, it's kind of like voice to text. You have to check it really well, right? Rev.com works a little better. Rev.com Rev works a little better. And I like Rev because you upload it, okay? It's a dollar per minute. And they get it back to you and it's really precise. It's really good. And it does captioning of your videos. Rev.com. Sorted. I don't know if you guys use Gmail or if you have used Gmail in the past um but gmail has a has an attachment on it called sorted that i has saved my life i love it so much sorted is part of my gmail and what it does is it enables you to put emails in in pockets and so uh, as a realtor you know working when my wife's working with three buyers and and four sellers different emails are coming from different mortgage professionals and title professionals and appraisal and all this stuff and it's crazy and you're all over the place she's able to dump her emails into portals based on the address. It's so cool. So sorted.com saved my life on, in Gmail. I love it. Um, if you don't use Gmail, I don't know, find, sorted might have plugins for whatever you use. It's a plugin that I use for Gmail that I absolutely love called sorted, S-O-R-T-D. So guys, one thing too is that right now being more visible on social media is really important, but the what to post kind of is like, oh my gosh, how do I post every day? Where do I, where do I find stuff to post every day? And, and if I was teaching a social media class, I would tell you guys, post expert content, meaning, meaning find great articles. This is an article I found on housing where it says, rise to the top of the pool by selling your house today. And so the commentary is where the gold is. I wrote the commentary good read for anyone wondering about putting their home on the market in the near future. I've had several clients pause the home buying or selling process in the past month or two. Choosing the right time to re-enter the market is really important. Message me if you want to discuss the current market status. So I found this thing that's really cool called feedly.com. F-E-E-D-L-Y. Feedly.com. It's free. And when you go to feedly.com, you can pull in 
so instead of searching and surfing the web every day for great stuff to post or conversation fodder to have, Feedly.com lets you set up all your news feeds in one place. And they have a mobile app too. So what I love about Feedly is I just go there in the morning. I search through about 15 different news agencies that I pull from and I find the daily news that day that's related to real estate. And so I'm able to post and have conversations and ask questions of my sphere of influence by creating a free Feedly.com account. I have my news feeds and I can just see it all in one place. It's super helpful. So Feedly.com, F-E-E-D-L-Y.com. Guys, uh, that is um, what I had for you today. And the idea was to get through it fast and have you see a few things. One thing maybe like Facebook lists that you didn't know of that maybe you can leverage to help you guys sell more homes and leverage some social media and some technologies that, that you might not have known existed or if you did look at it like, like the Zillow Facebook or um, for sale by owner lists in a different way. So Lee, any questions that popped up or anything uh, that anyone wants to talk about while you have me? Anyone who has any questions, please put them in the chat box. We've got a lot of, that was fantastic. The Facebook client list, uh, yeah. the friend list have been a huge hit. Um, one person is asking, is, does Feedly have Canadian content as well, you know? You just need to search. So Feedly just pulls RSS feeds. So any Canadian media content should also have RSS feeds. It shouldn't be an American thing. So um, just go to Feedly and check it out. I didn't look for Canadian publications. So, um, but I'm assuming that the Canadian publications have what's called an RSS feed. It's pretty okay. useful. You, it was quick fire, a lot of stuff happening back and forth here. Do you have a list anywhere of all of these technologies on one page? Um, no, I just do this class. I can send you okay. a list though. I'll create one. Okay, we can always post it as well at the bottom here, yeah. or we can have someone in our team do that as Absolutely. well. But there were lots of people who were interested. So cool. um, I'm gonna Google, uh, you've given people lots of really good information. I'm just looking through. So to clarify uh, your Feedly question, Feedly is just a, 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 a resource that pulls in news feeds or RSS feeds from other resources. So it's really a place to pull all, instead of surfing the web for all your favorite news resources, you can actually be in that, it pulls it all into one place. So it should work there. Yeah, that does sound like it should work. Are there any other Google extensions you can recommend? Oh my gosh, I love Sorted. Um, there's some extensions we use for scheduling. So we, I put the Google extension for scheduling emails in. Um, uh, my team, oh yeah, I use the task list on the side of Google all the time. Uh, in my Gmail, in my Google Calendar, I have the Zoom extension. So every single uh, calendar invite is accompanied by my Zoom link. So the Zoom extension for works great. Um, I also use Calendly, which, uh, which um, is a calendar, it, it, so you can put a Calendly link in your email and they click to it and they schedule meetings with you and it syncs to your Google Calendar. So Calendly is really helpful for a scheduler for yourself it's, and um, it syncs to your Google um, Calendar and they can just pick and choose when they wanna talk to you. So those are just a few um, that I use and I love, I, you know, we, we love Gmail, Google's Google. Yes, and Google comes with Century 21. Everyone has a C21.ca email. Not, if you're not, if you haven't checked out Sorted, oh my gosh, I love it. I actually bought the $2 a month upgrade and I love Sorted. So is the upgrade worth it? I think so for me because with regular Sorted, you only get like three portals to dump your, three or four portals to dump your, your um, email lists in. Uh, um, and I needed like seven, but, okay. uh, so it was worth it to me, but the free sorted might work just fine for you. And it might be a good way to just test it and see yeah. how many buckets you need. We've got yeah, a couple so of how, more questions. So here's how my wife uses it. Each portal or each bucket in sorted for her, she puts the address of her client. So when she gets an email from an inspector, um, she just drags that and drops it in that, in that listing, that address. So she's able to organize all her emails by a client. 
Now you can do that in your CRM too, but I'm always in my Gmail. We have a CRM that's connected to our Gmail and we do that also. I just like to be in my Gmail. So it works really good. Good to know. Have you tried Gmass with Gmail? No, haven't. What is it? I have no idea. That was the I question and now so we've answered it. E email me. If I don't know and you're saying, have you tried it? And I love it. Email me at eric at breakthroughbroker.com. Tell me all about it. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Uh, can you create a Facebook list for past clients on a business page? No, it's only done on your personal page. The list is not for the business page. It's only for your personal page. Good to know. Thank you. Eric. You you've wrapped access, up all the questions. If you don't remember, you can't access from your phone either. You have to do it from your desktop. Okay. Good advice. Uh, thank you very much. Course, we appreciate it. Always, always nice to see you. Course, always yeah, good information. And we'll get that cheat sheet out to people because we've got lots of requests thank saying you. it was so much information thank and they want to explore them a little bit more. So, you. Eric, thank you. Have Thanks, a great everybody. rest of your day Absolutely. and stay safe. You guys stay safe too. Everybody crush the rest of 2020. We'll see you later. Yeah. Sounds great. Thanks, Eric. Bye. And everyone, we are back here tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday, and we have our friends from Back at You Media joining us to talk about different social media channels and the best ways to use them. So please join us, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. We look forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye.